Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Sunday afternoon stream. Back here on Satisfactory. And you can see Mr. Bounce Pad has decided to interfere with steel production. Not really interfering, he's just kind of wandering through it. Ah, I made it onto his back. Yay! <laughs> Never gonna get old bouncing on this thing. <laughs> I feel like my computer is punishing me for restarting my computer. That happens. No worries, though. You're, you're sat here drinking tea. Having a chill tea. Uh-huh. It's processing... Well, the first time I launched it, somehow forgot to load traders, which I suspect that, that happens every once in a blue moon. Um... Not very often, but it does happen sometimes. So I closed it and restarted because it wasn't even loading. And now it's doing shaders and it's taking oh. insanely slow. Lovely. I have times where it loads fast. Right now it's loading slow. It's really annoying. Sounds fun. I'm like maybe a quarter. Well. Yes, you go ahead and do your thing, and I'll be on when this uh, side to finish. All right. However many years that takes. <laughs> How do you step? Reset what? I have changed. Uh, loss of sources. Yes, can we hit a full sentence? <laughs> well, so... Uh, I so I, I changed... I changed some uh, setting in one of the factories. Oh, no, it didn't. I changed one of the factories from iron rods over to iron plates. So okay. we could have more iron plates. And I thought I lost okay. a bunch of iron rods. I don't think I did. What did you do? Break it with the rods on the belt? No, I just changed. I just changed a select recipe. The selected recipe. Oh. Uh, it generally just throws it in your inventory. Yeah, that's what it looks like. It did. I have two hundred iron rods in my inventory that I don't remember having, before, but I didn't really pay that much attention. To. Yeah, it'll throw it in your inventory if you switch it. That's good. Same, same. If you like break a belt or machine that has stuff in it, it just goes in your inventory. And if you can't hold it. Then it'll put it in a crate on the ground. Okay. All right. Looking deep down below. Far, far below at the base of this cliff. That <laughs> is where I want to go. No clue as to how I'm going to actually get down there. A lot of ramps. Foundations. Yep. Even if you could do ladders, you really don't want to do a ladder that far down. It would be too scary. Yeah. And I have a long ladder before. And let me tell you, it's scary. It's scary to get all back on again because getting back on a ladder is, is uh, harder than you think without falling. without falling. I'm not terribly, I'm not very good at it myself. I have fallen to my, nearly, nearly to my death a couple times. <laughs> How far are we? Oh, I'm now halfway. Why sometimes it takes, like, two seconds, and other times it takes, like, ten minutes? I don't understand. Spike.
something down again? Oh, there it goes. things to like my bar or something switch between ranks and quickly listening hmm? no. not in the slightest what so would you say is there a way to add foundations and ramps to like my hot bar so I can switch between them? Yes. How's that? Go to the build menu, hover over it, and click the number. Or hit the number. That's how it works. Okay. Also, you actually have multiple hot bars you can switch between. That is so nice. So you can that's have different little, setups. That's with the little. Correct. Correct. Um, you can check to see what your keybind is. I just think it's like I can't remember. Toolbar swap or something. I can't remember. But it should be tied to a hotkey or two. It's not one of. But yeah, you can add as many things down there as you want. You can swap the current ones out if you want to. Or you can swap to another hotbar and have more than one setup. So you could have, like, building hotbar, and then you could have, like, machine pro doing hotbar and that sort of thing. You know, when this, when this takes this long, it makes me want to stop it and try restarting. But I happen to know from experience it doesn't help. Yeah. Sometimes it finishes, but doesn't start the game and just kind of sits there. That will work, because I had that happen once. But in general, if it's still processing, there's no point. I've tried. Yeah. Frustrating. Frustrating. I should have. I guess I should have started it earlier, but I didn't expect this to happen. I mean, I literally played the game like a couple days ago. <laughs> Wasn't expecting to have updates like a new update of shaders or something. Uh, it could just be whatever. It, if there was like a system update or something like that, that can sometimes affect things. I don't know. Sometimes it's a proton update. It's different stuff like. That. But the good news is, once you once you get here, we will have a seasick, uh, ocean sickness inducing ramp, <laughs> all the way down to the bottom. Trying to make it go down as fast as I can. Trying to make it go down as fast as I can. No, I can't do this. You do it in the zip mode. No, I can't. Why not? Only one block spaced. What? What do you mean? You'll see when you get on. You can do zip mode in any direction, technically. All right, well, I've made it to the bottom. You can zoop mode in let's any direction. Print up the top and let's see how long it takes. The only time that affects it is if you're doing the platforms, then you have to swap between vertical and horizontal. But as far as ramps, you can have it go zoop in any direction. So I don't know what you mean by what you said. I feel like I'm playing Halo. <laughs> You 
finish faster. I went on. Mm. Let's check and see what the terminal says. All right. It is. This is either just sitting here. I can't tell if it's just frozen or if it's still processing. I'm at a little, I'm over half, maybe two thirds. And it's just sitting there. Well, you didn't finish your cup of tea before I finished the uh, the ramp. So I think I did pretty good. Now it's saying installing bank pad exception. Let me see what my computer system says. I'm reshooting memory again or what? No, that part's fine. No. Setups. Although a lot of my CPU cores are going a little nuts, but other than that. <laughs> CPU cores are going nuts, I mean, it is. What you can do is you can skip cater. Yes, but every time I do that, the the games that I do that on it ends up super laggy. Yeah, well, that's kind of what the thing behind the skipping says. I, I, I don't it does skip it, it. Does it in the background? I know that's why I don't skip it. <laughs> it's progress. It's progress. No, I was afraid it was stuck there. Is the thing. But no, it's proceeded. I just don't understand why it's taking so long. Okay. Because I have times where it'll take, like, two seconds, you know? I don't understand what makes the difference. <laughs> or maybe it's the first time after right. restarting. Maybe it takes longer after first after restart. <laughs> Might have to test that later. See if that's the case. That would make sense. I know if I know about it, I can plan for it, you know? Yeah. This thing's claiming that it makes 30 copper wire per minute. I'm having a real hard time believing it's making 30 copper wire per minute. Maybe I need to do system updates. <laughs> Maybe that's part of it. Due to the fact need. that it takes four seconds to make... It does look like I'm due for some system updates, so maybe that's part of it. Do the system updates now, it's going to reset everything. I'm not doing, doing, it, doing now. it now. Absolutely not. Heck no, I know better than that. <laughs> okay. I know better. I know better. <laughs> Arrest me. <laughs> I've done that, that one before. Absolutely not. Oh, it's already, already really? barely handling this. Okay. All right. We finally got somewhere. Goodness. Okay, we have game now. Thank goodness. Oh my goodness. It was so annoying. Yeah, earlier at first launch, it sort of forgot to do shaders or something because it got launched to Black Window and then just stayed there. Lovely. It was probably loading eventually, but it was taking ages. So I ended up killing it and starting it again. I found out that sometimes if it forgets to do the shaders, then that fixes it. That only seems to happen after restart, so I'm wondering if that's part of it. Like, maybe I'm doing it too soon after restarting? Or something? Okay. On 20. Thank goodness. That took way too long. I am busy uh, checking out the ma'am. Yeah, yeah. did build the ma'am. Okay, I thought so. So, that becomes very important. As you find new things, you can research new things. It will give you new trees. The thing is, it gives you new recipes and stuff. Not just new... Not, it doesn't give you, like, um, improvements on current recipes. It actually just gives you new things to make. I was wondering, I researched some new things. 
So, there's two things you can do, okay? So, with with this thing. So, just regular researching gives you new <laughs> recipes, things to do with new materials, etc. But, you can also find small ruins that will get you a hard drive. If you get a hard drive and research the hard drive, that one will give you an option of three different recipes that you can get an improvement on the current recipe. So, like, so, like you can like, get, like, for example, for example, one improvement recipe I got was a screw recipe, recipe that skipped the rod stage. You go went straight from ingot to screws. Yeah. That's, that's the kind of thing. That's, so cool. that's what hard sure. drives are good for. Hard drives, hard drives give you multiple recipe improvements. Um, that's what hard drives do. But the as far as regular research, it gives you new recipes. And it does give you stuff that you really want later. So the so it's really nice to go through to do the research. Especially ones like like the... Well, hold on. I don't want to spoil much. But there are some that once you find the resources for and research it are really nice. Oh, it's over here. Just trying to find the man. What are we up to? Okay, so we have options for sulfur, parts, power slugs, and alien organisms. Okay. I researched a uh, hog research and there was another thing. Hatcher research. I did both of those because I had the remains on me. And the only other thing I yeah, found yeah. them to be useful for is burning them in the biomass burner. Yeah. Yeah. So the. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. The uh, drops, mob drops become great later. Um, because I'm busy making really reinforced like... plates. Space elevator. I quartz think it's is a also a, quartz quartz is also, is also a really good route to go. We um, when we find that, um, we'll actually need the stuff in the quartz route eventually. Okay, where is the ramp made? Ah, yes, the ramp. Let's see your ramp. Over here it is a highly functional ramp. Functionality <laughs> in mind. <laughs> I am sure. Down and down and down. No, you did the turning route. I mean, works. Uh, I would prefer the straight ramp, as this makes it a little dizzying. Oh, you know, it would have been faster to go straight, too. If you want to go fast, you can just jump off the edge. D excuse me. Oh, 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 that over there. Straight ahead of you. That little ruin. The crash site. Yeah. Let's do that. Seeing oh, the elephant. Uh -oh. I, know, I know, I see it too. Watch out, run. Hold on, where's my weapon? There. Oh, it's uh, shooting at me. Okay. These shoot, yes. Okay, it lagged really badly. We charged it. Ah, got it. I got it. Plasma spitter. <laughs> okay, uh, no, that's not that part. Where is the part? So find out, so it'll usually request something, but you have to find the main part. Where is the main part? Where's the part with the door? Where is it? You can come back over here to this part. Ow! Ah. Bees! The hatcher up on the top. Okay. Going after this hatcher. I mean, this section doesn't have a door area. This just looks like the engine. Oh. Is there another part to this somewhere? I don't know. I gotta kill a hatcher real quick, though. I'm getting dive bombed. Oh, it's on top. Ow! I'm almost dead. Bees. Okay, conditions. We need to get up there. Can't get up there. Unauthorized hostility towards pioneer detected. What the heck does that mean? They're bees. They don't need your authorization to do anything. Go up there and try to kill this because it's up here. Oh, oh, I found the main part. Oh no, I'm about to die now. Oh, but but I got it. Ah, you got it. Okay. I did it. Got it. Okay, this is the thing. Come over here. Here's the drop pod. I mean, I want to have you do this. Okay. Uh, open. What do we need? Repairs needed. Needs a rotor and ten megawatts. Okay, so we can't Needs do that yet. Power. Rotor. We need to be able to make rotors. I don't think we can make rotors yet. 
I've heard of rotors. Yeah, so we'll we'll come back to that when we have rotors. <laughs> oh, you did exactly the same thing I did. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I didn't know you were doing it over there. Let me see. Okay, I think they're... Can what are these things? Uh, that's oh, the hatches. Where did these come from? Those are the hatch... hatch yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? You're funny. You're funny. You're just like, oh, what's this? No, no. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, that's exactly what those are. Uh, that's the one that I destroyed one of those earlier. I've destroyed those too. I didn't recognize what they were though because I hadn't seen them because I destroyed them last game. Yeah, because they were closed. Okay. Probably because they were closed. They they were closed at first and then they opened. Okay, well, now I died. I thought, oh, oh I, I can did. get it. At least try to get it. No, I died. So much for my attempt at being helpful. Right, now there's just bees hovering all over everything. I know. I know. I'm going to get me some food before I go down there uh, this time. Um, before I go back down there, I'm getting food. I'm going to see what I can find. Did you bring me time. some food? I'll see how much I actually find. Each plant will only give one or two pieces, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna leave my stuff down there for now until I find food. Not that I had that much on me, I don't think. Or maybe I did. I don't know. Okay, what's? Well, I guess I did kind of have a lot of stuff. Um. Oh, what are you? An interesting looking plant, and then it stood up. Oh, the poison gas. Uh, we'll give off poison gas. That is, there's loads of those things down here. If that's what that is. Yeah. So stay away from. You can actually kind of run through them as long as you don't stay in one place too long. But as they stand up, they will then start to give off poison gas. Great. There's now two crates over here by the hatcher. Bees are gone. I think I can run in and grab my stuff. Take all. Oh no. Oh, nope. Running. Nope. I ran into a hug. Nope. Right. Oh, wrong way. Running away from you. What's the button to activate Wep the weapon? Uh, you have to actually put it, put it in one of your hand slots first. Where do I do that at? Your inventory? Yours. You go to your inventory. Okay. Being chased by a bee. I mean, you can shift click it, the weapon, but you have to go to your inventory, just like everybody. <laughs> I'm running away from a hog right now. Oh, I found another uh, uh, crash site. Nice. I don't have time to look at it, though, because I have things chasing me. Running through all the poison plants. Okay, I'm gonna try to jump on it and just see if I can at least see what it needs. Uh, modular frame. So not yet. Not, not that one either. Rotors are more achievable. I, don't, I have seen some of those, the drop pods that only needed like 30 well, megawatts of power and stuff like that. Which was super easy because it just okay. popped out of, you know, a bio Run some power line. Power line. Yeah. yeah, but... <laughs> This is kind of... But these are, like, harder ones. Ah! Ah! Really? It just bumped me off. And, uh, funny enough, it bumped me off onto the machinery area. But I guess that works. I'm not really not finding much up here. Why is there, like, no food up here? It's, like, far as but there's, like, nothing to eat. <laughs> I'm not finding anything to eat either. Just kind of letting my health slowly regen. <laughs> there is, like, some nuts. Arrow nuts that you can find in deserty areas. Maybe there's something down there. Oh golly, your rotational stairs are. Bleh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
code call. I'm not even usually I'm bothered by this sort of thing, and I'm being bothered. Golly. Making me Ow. Sick. Oh no, another plasma spitter. No. You're making make it's making me motion sick and a little. <laughs> oh hi. Watch out. I brought company. Yeah, I wasn't following you anyway. I, th I was thinking that maybe I could run past, grab my stuff really fast, just so I have it. I did it. Yeah, I know. I mean, I've done it before. It's just I'm only on three and a half things of health there. Got it. Running. Okay. Back to me. Back to me. Me? The hatchers are spawning bees still. Yeah, I wasn't even going to try to kill those things. I was going to go across the lake. Okay. I'm because that me. area looks like one of the areas that has the barrel nuts. Um, okay. that, kind that kind of, of deserty, er plateau-y kind of area usually has barrel... At least ones I've been in had barrel nuts. So I'm going to go over there. Alright. They, they, like, they basically look like a dry bush with no leaves with little nut things hanging off of it. It's not very big. It's kind of small. Um, but that's what we're looking for. No, there's hog a hog on the left by that arch. Well, we've killed hogs before. I think I can manage it. I'm just saying to be wary. There's also one on the far right, too. I'm can't, seeing one over there. Can't dive? Oh, oh, I found a way. Hilariously. If you sprint, run, and jump into the water, you'll go under the water. Oh, he's after you. I noticed. He looks Ooh, big, feel... too. Ah, ah. There are certain ones that are more like bull, like like male, like bulls, kind of. I think this okay. is one of them. Well, he my is weapon. spazzing my out. Weapon. My weapon is not in my heart I'm running. Trying to attack him. Oh, he's, he's coming through the water after you. He's bugged out, and he's now drifting out to sea. I'm noticing... I am going to ignore it and come back the other way. It's also, it's also sulfur just a minute ago, by the way. I think it's on the it was on the island that that hog first went out of both of them. I they um I saw it over here on the side island that the other hogs spawned on. Ow. I'm gonna go collect it. Okay, I'm gonna collect the sulfur real quick. It's not a whole note, it's just a whole thing of it. Alright, I killed both the hogs. Okay, oh, you did? Good. Yeah, my hand's going numb on me already. Okay, where are you? Okay, I'm coming over there. That's, that's part, of part of the mainland, that's just an island. Okay. Oh, hi, birds. Can I eat you? Hey, come look over here. You see this? Can't. I'm, I'm right here. I'm right. You I'm, I, I was eating. I was thinking if I could eat a bird, and I can't. You can't. No. Look at this. Oh, cool. Okay. This is a oh. node. This is the actual node. Yeah. So mine, uh, mine enough that we can research at least. We can come back to this later, but we can. I don't even know if we have it unlocked. I'm at 16. Know... 16. Oh, oh. Okay. I don't even know if we have it unlocked, but at least now we know where it is. Oh, and right here, another one right here. Cool. That'll be uh. It's two. That'll get us quite a bit of power going then. Yep. Let's go this way. Hey, Wait, where are you? Let's go that. Let's go that way. Th this way. I was just saying. Okay. If you want to take okay. Never mind. I give up. <laughs> I will follow you. Okay. Oh, oh there's oh, it's like three of them. Oh, challenging. Ouch! 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 Nope! 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 
Ow. Okay. Oh, there's. I got two of them on me now. Yeah, I have two after me. This is one of multiple edibles we have detected in your vicinity, which are within approved nutritional and medical categories as established by R and D. A new research tree can now be accessed. Hey, if you can make your way over here, where I am. I cannot. I am being attacked by a hog. Yeah, I know. I will win. I'm just gonna sit here by it as long as I can. Oh, there! Oh, there must be a spawner or something nearby. There's now three more. No, there was already more. There was already more. I only remember seeing like three. But I think there was a pup. That okay, that dead. one's dead. Okay. You see, I killed two, and then three more showed up. <laughs> gotcha. Right, it's carcass drop. I have no idea. I guess I'm gonna fly in. There's one. I have no, I have no idea. I kind of started flying. Hi, <laughs> jump pad. Fun. What are you doing here? By the way, if you look over here. Look, we just passed them. We were fighting on top of them. Four cold nodes. Four cold nodes, yeah. Four, four. four. That makes four. We could do uh, all kinds of stuff with that many. Oh, here, come here. I'm showing you more food. Oh, food, okay. Yes, I'm showing you. This one, too. Aleberry. So I'll tell you the, the red and white mushroom. Did I? Did you collect them? Did I have you collect the red and white mushroom yet? Uh, no. Okay, follow me because I was just waiting by it for you, but you were busy fighting, so I give up. Okay, these actually, actually gave you more than the other berries and stuff. Uh, that one gives you the most just uh, things that you eat. The goal really is to get to the point where you're not just relying on those for food, so uh, they don't give you that much, but um, the, the bacon archaic mushroom does give you the most. Okay, so how do I switch? Oh, okay, I scroll wheel between things that are in my... Yep. Alright, well I ate the berries and the flower and the mushroom and I'm almost back up to full health. Cool. That got us at least a little bit there. Oh, oh, dear. Uh, I have something for you to do. Nope. Go that way first. Oh, I'll be like way back here and follow from way back here. I'm what is it? This cute little lizard dude? Yeah. Oh, hi. Okay. Yeah, that thing. Yep, creepy oh. as always. Hmm. Oh, no, no, no. oh, oh. Sorry, where'd it go? Follow it jumped on me. Oh, I heard it. I heard it really close to me all of a sudden. And then it was just gone. Okay. Fast. It's it's kind of spazzing out a little bit. Hang around a bit more. Really fast. Fast. Ow, I'm dead. I am dead. Oh, I think this is one bigger. This one's bigger. I think this might be a bigger one, actually. Well, that would explain got, got why it. it hit so hard. It took off nearly three they're blocks of health. That big. I think that was one of the bigger ones, actually. That was. They're usually not that big. I thought it was one of the smaller ones. I guess I couldn't tell from the distance. Anyway, I killed it. Well done. And I'm next to your crate. It's I, okay. I, I, I understand. I've had time to get more familiar with the combat this game. Well, I went to dodge away from the thing, and all of a sudden it just hit me in midair and just knocked three blocks of health out. Yeah, so those are annoying. Those are, in particular... I feel like I need, like, a suit of armor and a gun. Right? They're super fast. So, 
Oh dear. Oh, more of you. You know what? I'm over here. Okay, do your zoomies over here. I saw a place where I was like, oh hey, a shortcut. I'll take the shortcut. There's four hatchers. What? It's nothing. I'm just complaining about all the bushes over here. And I, I was gonna take like a jump off of a cliff and take a shortcut, but there's like four or five hatchers in that area. I was like, yeah, I don't need like 50 bees chasing me. That's not creepy at all. No. Mm -mm. I had corrected hogs again, so I just jumped in the lake to swim back across. And one of them followed me and is not swimming on the surface. It's actually swimming under the water. Lovely. I can't see it, but it is fully submersed. That's all. Yeah. That's okay then. All right. Yeah, exploring can be a little rough if you do it too early, um, but we really needed a little bit of food, honestly. I was trying, hoping to get us a little bit more than that. Oh, I thought we'd have more around us, but it's not. But killed a few things. Got that stuff at least. And killed a few things, and we got stuff for it. No. Uh, it looks like you aggroed a hatcher. I uh, know. I was trying to go around it, but I guess it came too close. And I'm swimming slow, so I'm trying to get to land so I can sprint back across. So I can just run away. <laughs> At least if I die, I'm back to area. All right, I've now got the coal in it. Uh, the hog has now made it to shore. Yeah, I'm sure. You have to fight that dude when I get to it. Oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm uh, currently ignoring it. Sorry. Well, maybe I can get one. It's just I had like three of them after me. Actually, and I think I was more in the background somewhere, but it was just three at the time. Oh, seriously, with this rotation. I swear it's making me motion sick, and I usually don't get motion sick. Well, you can fix it. I mean, it's appearance-wise, it looks fine. It's just uh, it makes me motion sick. I don't usually get motion sick. All right, I got the hog. Good. It's weird because I don't usually get motion sick games, and for some reason that one is making me well, a little bit. How do I do zoop? R. R. By default, it's R anyway. Okay. Can at least do the first sulfur node. There we go. New resource added okay. to the resource scanner. There. New research available. All right, I added a non-motion sickness-inducing ramp. Oh ah. wow! Ah. That's oh. close. What? What? That feels like cheating. What? Scan for software. Right, right there. It's only 522 meters or whatever from base. That's close. close. That, that, that feels like cheating. 
That that's really close. I was expecting like at least a thousand blocks away. That is way closer than I expected. That, that is way, way closer than I expected. <laughs> <laughs> I did not know there was one that close. I actually did not. <laughs> Alright, I also had something at lunch that might be part of it. So, I don't know. Oh, to fix uh, that, you can just pop that down. ramp with uh, the shallow ramp. The shallowest ramp there is. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just change... That one? Yeah, that one. And do the super shallow ramp. Off that one. There you go. Her butt Thanks. was in the way. Uh oh, you're welcome. Alright. Got a bunch of screws. Glad bunch I could help. Space elevator. Glad I could help. Hey, that's a lot of wire that we need. I didn't realize I was going to need that much wire. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, yes. Do we? I'm going to take a guess and say not that much because the, the belt was disconnected. Yeah, I'm going to need oh. 500, okay. 500 concrete, 250 iron plates, 400 rods, and 1,500... But here's, wire. here's the thing. I've got most of that stuff on me already. The, yeah. The 1,500 copper wire was a bit soul-crushing. But we have over 500 in storage now, so... Yeah. Got a lot. Also got quite a bit of cable stacking. Up. Well, and you know, to help it along a little bit, we could, uh... It's currently copper wire is splitting between one making cable and one going to the crate, but, but um, we can temporarily disable the one going to the other constructor to help boost production a little bit. Yeah. Come on. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. We probably have enough uh, cable for the moment, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that for now. Yeah, we have plenty of cable for now, so I'm gonna temporarily disable that. We just need to remember that we need to put the put it back eventually. All right, a power slugs. I apparently have a power slug. Yes. You can research. There you go. I actually picked up a. I actually picked up a yellow one. Power shard. Mhm. Mm Overclock production. Yes. At the Ford. Where is it again? Oh. I am getting all kinds of confused as to where things are. Huh. Okay. Oh. Well, I can't research the yellow shards now. We need other things. But we'll have it for later. Alien organisms. I don't have stingers oh let me look i i might i don't have spitters well, I think you have I the do. spitter i have both oh okay actually we can do that next one we just need to i just need to make some of this into the proteins first. Okay. Making sure the biomass generators are stocked up all the way. Because when I got in, when I got on, uh, our main one over here, it's uh, off. Yeah. Out of two. All right. Um. Okay.
the but I have fire. Are quite halfway. All right. I don't know if I'm going to be building that this stream. Well, just keep it running. Um, yeah, I'm keeping it running. I, I have most of the equipment on me. Actually, let me look. Maybe I can boost it to barely. Let me see how much. Let me check on the production. How much? Let's see. Yeah, there's enough. Okay. Uh, okay, so we, we have the bars, we have the plates. I'm gonna add some more constructors making that to make it faster. Okay. So I'll work on that. I'll work on that, okay? Getting us the copper wire. A little faster. I have raw quartz on me. Raw quartz from. Oh, really? I didn't even know you found some. You can... How much do you have? Maybe you could go and scan for it and um, research it. And it. I have so yeah, much um, stuff on me. I don't know what to. I don't know what to. What to do with. It. Okay, so you can make a personal storage box under organization, just to put random stuff in. All right, I am researching quartz. There we go. Silica. Requires more quartz. Quartz. Well, so you should be able to scan for quartz now, I think. Raw quartz. So you can scan for quartz. Uh, there's some 230-something meters away, apparently. 203 or something? Like 230-something. Yeah, that's, that's close. That's very close. Yeah. Actually, seems like it's kind of down that cliff overlooking... Each area there. Probably is. Probably is over there. Okay, I need platforms. This is ridiculous. Uh, Alright, I have... All right, making my way down. Almost on top of this location for the quartz. And I found it, and it's a node. Cool. Yeah, scanning only scans nodes, not little bits, just so you know. Okay. Well, this node right here, and there's another node just past it. Nice. This is a very good spot for um what we were wanting to do. Nice. That's good. Hello and welcome to Satisfactory. Stab the ground with a very awkwardly shaped chisel. Hopefully your wrist breaks. Or the ground break. Whatever happens first. <laughs> Makes my wrists hurt just watching the character stab at this stuff. Oh, hey. Oh, nope. Nope. Okay, I was going to say, hey, there's a spitter here, but he's not actually mad at me. He's running away. Nope. They, they spit. They circle. Yep. Oh, oh. You got one of them. All right. Got a bunch of spitter remains now. Guess that's how we make food. You can make um, alien 
protein or whatever. You'll find it in the crafting table. Uh, hatcher protein. So Hog protein, it's, spitter you can't protein. Eat it. Note that you can't eat it like that. Um, if you look uh, in the research table, the bottom left of the, that that tree, there's a some there's a blue and white little inhaler looking thing. That's what you need to you need to get to. Nutrients. Under nutrient, uh, no, uh, alien organisms. Ah. Uh, so okay. the bottom, bottom left to the inhaler. That's what we need to make. That's what the protein is useful for. Barrel so nuts get, and rotors. We get to, yeah, but only thing is we need rotors, so we can't make it yet. But when we get to that, that is what we'll use to refill health after that. Okay. We won't need the, we won't need the little plant stuff after that. Oh, an inflated pocket dimension. So you barrel, barrel nuts, nuts and I don't know where to find them. Um, I was thinking maybe checking out that, that lush area that's across, across the way. But I don't know, I because I usually often, but one place that I'm that I know find it, it's just it's kind of far, but it's oh, far off in that right. direction. It's oh, far no. off in that direction. I know there's barrel nuts, but that's kind of far. I was hoping to find somewhere closer. So I don't know. I'm I may just have to do a little extra looking around, to see if I can find some. Okay. Um, hold on. How do we get these uh, alien DNA capsules? Can we make those yet? Um, I don't know. I think you have to do research for that too. You just make them on the crafting table when you do have the recipe, just so you know. Okay. Um, if you don't see the recipe for it in the crafting table, then yeah, probably have to wait. And in codex. I'm gonna use alien proteins to make those alien. Yeah. Yes, you do. Okay, so. Some. Make some alien proteins real quick. Make everything. Protein. Make them into capsules, I guess. Yeah, the nice thing is, it's all a single item. There's not multiple types of protein once you make it, so it can all stack into one. With That's safe good. storage space to craft it. That's good. Making everything into DNA capsule. We'll pick a fight later. Now where there's hostiles. All right. Structural analysis is complete. And oh, we need rotors. Okay, I guess yeah, I need to yeah. put down an assembler. Yeah, hold I'm on. Sorry. I am majorly boosting <laughs> wire production for now, and um, I'll just rep it's okay because some of these machines I can repurpose to make something else later. I have the. Uh... Oh wait, no, I don't have this rotor. Okay, I guess I need to make some rope. It's uh. And metal bars and screw. Okay, let's make sure. Wire, wire powered. Oh, there we go. I'm pretty good. I was afraid there was something. I missed. Okay. Alright, I can put an assembler down now. Okay, they're not white. Not all of them are producing yet, but they're about to. But I now have four constructors making wire. I have one smelter for two constructors, so I have two smelters from processing ore to sort of maximize it a bit. Cool. Ah. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, right. no. So we probably just ran out of fuel somewhere. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see. Generators. Generators. Where are... This place is a mess. Just gonna say. Uh, <laughs> normal. normal, but still a mess. Oh, we're over here. Okay. Yeah. yeah. See, this one on the left is out. I can tell because the light, light up top is red. That's how I can tell. There's some extra They're biomass. Both full. No. Over here. Over there. You mean over there? Right here, this one. Oh, that's also a biomass burner? Yes, and so is this one right here. This is what the regular ones look like. The ones on the, over there are just mini ones. Yeah, I know. Well, I, I, I knew that one had... Yeah, I didn't... So, so, so over here, right here, you see the light on top? The color indicates the fuel level. Yeah. So, so green means it has enough, yellow means it's getting low, red means it's out. All right, well, now it's full. So that was what it was, yeah. Good now. Although this other one could use a little more. Yeah, there we They're go. They're all full. Cool. We're well, we're about, we're about 50 short of another stack of 500. Oh, no, what? What? I clicked the wrong button. I thought it said sort all. It's store all, so just up my inventory and <laughs> but I have an assembler over here I just need to get power pole okay what's it making uh thingies ow ow thingies yeah thingies uh sounds advanced it is it really is yeah so what do you use to make thingies um, stuff. Oh, rotors. We do need rotors. There, now it's powered. Nice. We do need rotors badly. <laughs> you were correct. Yeah. Um, yeah, we need them for research. We need them for other things. Just need them in general. And it's not really going to set us that far back on the space elevator, just because the space elevator is a very long way still. I oh, 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 holy. Right over my head. <laughs> I can see how much copper wire we These smelters are really a little close. <laughs> okay. Oh wow, there is so much wire being pumped through those cape uh through those belt merge. Uh <laughs> it's it's getting bottlenecked going in. <laughs> into the storage box. We almost have all the cable we need for space elevator, which I feel like I need to start figuring out where I want to put it. There's one place I don't want to put it. I don't want to put it on the platform. I, I hate to say this, but I think this, the assembler should have been placed farther out. Because we're, we're running out. Of, we're already out of space on this side. Well, I, again, it's just temporary. permanently to stay there. I was just trying to get the uh, stuff auto-inputting into it. No? No, not right now. Alright. Sheesh, how big is this thing? How big is what? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Space it's really elevator. Huge. Maybe <laughs> it's, it's really... So well, one option, depending on how much concrete we have, is to make the side a uh, way bigger platform that's way- that's Oh my longer. days! <laughs> it's huge. 
<laughs> down there. <laughs> so the thing, so the is, thing is, something you should be aware of is it I, has inputs to auto pipe stuff in. So, so we might, wanna... might want to have it in a place that we can actually pipe stuff into it. No, I'm just I'm just hovering it down there so I get a, an idea as to the scale of this thing. Yeah. Okay. okay. Right. Um. You want me to help make the platform? <laughs> 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 gonna have to. If we're gonna be doing stuff at this level, we might as well make just make one out there. But it would take. Your concrete. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take some concrete. Um, you wanna go check on the sure. wire? Uh, yeah, we almost have the wire. So I checked. Yeah, well, I boosted the production by a lot, so. I know, I, I know. I, we're probably very close. <laughs> you noticed, huh? <laughs> yes, I noticed. Well, the thing I noticed is that, is that there's a bunch of um, factories just kind of sitting around not doing anything and I was like what's going on here I suddenly realized oh the output belt is completely clogged okay so a quick question over here uh huh uh, uh can you come out here what direction do you want the elevator to be so do you want to put it out that direction like out that way or have it off this way so what I'm looking at the compass at the top north or west um North might be this. I don't know. Depends on what direction. Let's try going. Direction. Try going west. It'll be more centralized because we have the the quartz off and and quartz and coal in that. Region. Well, that's true. It'll be more more towards the center if we head toward the west. All right. Well, I'm gonna start a, a new platform area of starting off this way, um, so I can have it farther out. Does that that work? Uh, I only I need so few iron bars. I think I can just make the remainder of the iron bars myself. I think this is big enough. Okay. Stations. All right, I have everything. Well, you might want to come over here and tell me if it's big enough. It's kind of hard to tell when I don't have all the stuff on me. I'm gonna stay in the corner so I'm out of the way. Um, t tell me if it's b wide enough. Well, I'm seeing blue, so it must be. It's but do it farther out here. But let me come that way so I'm not in the way, because it'll detect player. Hold on, let me go. Let me come that way. Do I need to do it a little wider? Keep saying floor is too steep. Okay, that means it's probably not wide enough. So give me a minute. Let me go over there. Ah, ah can you please get rid of it for a second? Thank you. Thank you. I can't see anything. It must be a pretty <laughs> red. <laughs> My. This thing is enormous. Well, I suspected it might have been a little bit narrow. I just wasn't sure. Okay, try that. But let me come that way first, because, as I said, it'll just take player in the way. Well, I said let me get out of the way first! Oh, there we, oh, go. There we go. Okay. Inputs okay, okay, okay. there. Hold on, hold on. Before you place, there is hold also on. a terminal on one side. Rotate. Rotate. Uh, rotate. There. 
That's the that so that right here is the console. Um, um that, I don't know where you want to put the inputs, but this is the console. Inputs are on the back of it. Yeah, so yeah, so we might want to rotate maybe sideways or something. This just take a pick on it. Take a pick, but that's the that's where everything is, just so you know. You take your you you pick. Wham! Uh, watch this. this, it's kind of cool to watch it build. I uh, am. Because after it finishes building, it also does that mill. More this. Wait. Hold on, we're not done. You see up in the sky? Oh, hey, a ship's coming in the land. Nope. Oh, no. Remember what the name of this item is? Yeah, it's the sh elevator shaft. Space, Space elevator. elevator. That is the elevator shaft, yep. So when we give, when we finish uh, an item mount, it'll actually shoot up and go up the elevator. It's pretty cool. Yep. Okay. Yep. Fifty smart plating. Usual. Puh. So, smart plating takes reinforced plates and rotors. Oh, great. Yeah, it's um, yeah, it's quite something. But you only need fifty for the first one, so. Technically, we might be able to do them by hand if I just sit and did them. Um, I could. I might be able to do them by hand. See, do we have the recipe for that yet? I don't even know. Oh wait, do they didn't let you do reinforced plates by hand? I don't think. Forgot about that. Section. Okay. Uh, coming back. Okay. The assembler is now done with its temporary tasks. We can now tear it down and start okay. permanently making yeah, yeah so, so we'll go ahead and move that but i'd say let's start by lining up smelters properly uh, somewhat moving them out a little bit so we can kind of get idea of get a proper lineup is all i mean that's that constructor i temporarily placed there so i'm gonna remove the outgoing Smelt. belts for now you have two smelt it was, um, but there was, I was trying to put another constructor down, and there was not enough room. So, you want my suggestion? I would say move the smelters this way by a little bit, it, um, by by a little bit, just so you can, you can easier spread out the inputs and stuff. I had a, a smelter. I had a smelter here. It was no. Oh, it was in between. You had them all crammed together. You you want to know? It was it was right here. That's where you had it. It would help to move them out a little bit, just so. We can... But we don't necessarily have to. It's just gonna be very compact. Um, okay. Here's the thing: you can have you can have the smelters here, and we can belt the metal wherever it needs to go. Okay. Up, up. Put the output. This one. Is that far enough away? Okay. There. There a player crate with screws. Oh, oh you're probably. in. The... Is that what happens when my? Yeah, I was gonna say that's exactly what happens. Okay. Way. Uh, you get four. Why do you get four? Okay, you can get a fourth in there. I'll I'll split the outputs on this one. No, no, no I can't. I'm having space problems. Okay, basically, the storage unit is in the way. Like, yeah. No storage. 
How about this? Let's just remove it. Can you take the rest of the concrete that's in there? I'll, I'll see about moving the storage unit if, you, if it's necessary. It's just, it's in the way. Did you take what's left in there? Yeah, got it. Okay. Remove. Okay. There we go. So for that spot, we can have two going, we could have um, two for each item uh, for the, some of the basic stuff. So two rods, two machines making rods, two machines making plates, uh, screws, plates, etc. faster. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it was not necessary, but it was, I thought it was funny. But anyway, uh -huh. um, anyway, we can kind of get everything kind of split up between those four machines, if possible. I've been kind of starting to kind of like one smelter, two machines or something like that. One smelter, two constructors, that sort of thing. So that's kind of how I've been doing it. Um, so we don't necessarily have to have three smelters right here, unless you just want to do it that way. I was gonna do uh, splitter. It's one. Yeah. I know, no, I know. I'm saying you have three smelters. We have four machines. You could do it with just two smelters, and it would consume a little less power to not have that many. Okay. Well, then. About. Okay, um, here, here we go. Okay, okay. So yeah, you feed that, that, have that one. No, no, I have that one. Feed to those two. Exactly like you what you were just doing. Okay. I mean these other two. You had another one in the smelter in the middle. I was saying that was it was one we don't necessarily have to use. I was thinking we just we had three we have three ore nodes feeding. Oh, I did it. Well, eventually we'll need. To Split some of the stuff up into create more stuff. So. Yeah. Okay. Let's see the other way. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Now. Okay. Um. So what okay, do we need I, the I, making? Okay, uh, so I'm gonna set those to screws. I guess. I'll, or not, how about? Well, okay, this one here is set to screws okay. on the end. And then the second. Well, actually, no, wait, this one needs to be set to rods. Rods first. I know, well, these other. We have four. I'm, I was, okay, you can do those two rods and I'll do these two screws. It didn't really matter which way it is. Well, we don't. Do we have the recipe to do ingots into screws? Oh. oh, you're correct. Okay, never mind. This will be plates. <laughs> yeah. I, I forgot. The plates, me. rods. Leave room for splitters. Hold on, let me think. Actually, Actually, hold on. Better idea. I'm gonna leave that set up. Of that rods plate. And have how about this? Uh, uh, add onto the platform again out this way. And have the third smelter feeding, uh, feeding a constructor. That, or one, two constructors maybe that will dedicatedly make rods that are for screws only. I have uh, silica. Yeah, let me tell you from experience. Um, screws, I'm constantly running out of. On on machines are constantly running out of screws. Yeah, so I, I was thinking like do like a at least two dedicated lines of screws. Yeah, so I'm gonna make a lineup f for that exact thing over here. Unless you want to just do it. Well, these two are already making rods, so. I know, oh, I know. So what I was thinking is have some more constructors that are making rods that are only for the screw recipe. Those so those will go to storage. storage. Those two go to storage. I'm making more. Okay. Do be careful not to cover up our way down. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. 
I was or watching. At least use a use the thin foundation. I was watching. About to get dark, I feel. Really? I wonder what gave you that idea. I don't know. The fact that it feels like it's gonna get dark soon. Mm. Yes, but what made you feel like it was gonna get dark soon? What gave you that feeling? Um, just kind of like this foreboding. I'm confused. The the light going away. I'm very confused right now. What? Sounds of evil in the distance. Seems to have a trace space problem. Okay. I wasn't con- Dang. I don't understand. This is not letting me make reinforced light. Okay, there. Now it is. That was weird. Make sure all the generators are topped up. Okay, We're burning burn. through so much biomass. We need to get, yeah, get the I next know. level going. I know. I know. Uh, so might help to get a, constru a setup making it automatically and having like a storage unit we just throw leaves and stuff in. I was hoping like we get, we get like uh yeah we'll need the more biomass way before we need coal we we are able to do coal trust me sorry but, oh, and oh. those don't burn coal just so you know no I know but I, I just want to get coal generator going oh so, um we also so the basic That's... biomass we can, we'll be able to, we can let's see can we do it now. Uh, well, so, to get, get the recipe for a better biomass, we craft that in two. So, does the space elevator need power, or does it get its own power? Space elevator? Uh... I don't remember. Okay. I, don't think, I don't think so. I don't think it needs power. And check. Figure space elevator. Smart plating. Rotors. Rods. So. Rods. Our setup might not be sophisticated enough to fulfill the space elevator's request. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well that's interesting. Uh huh. Uh, conveyor belts don't give a hoot and a holler about uh, power poles, apparently. <laughs> or do they really give much of a care for the actual like elevation of the terrain? My screw lineup is done. Alright, and, and I'm pumping uh, iron into the smeltery. Okay. Smelter. Two iron ore nodes fully saturated going into a belt merge. Getting into a splitter that is then the furnaces. This 
this is the part that I, I, I kind of like, actually, believe it or not. This is this part. <laughs> setting Belts. Up. Just setting up in general. Yeah. It's nice. It's nice. Screws there. Screws here. I think... No, I can do it. Weird. I think I'd put that thing a little too close, though. The storage unit, I mean. But that was the edge of the platform. <laughs> Let's see, can okay, nice force a merger on there? No! Darn it. Okay, um... Platform. <laughs> it's too close! I can't do anything. Start placing some. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to move the storage unit. It's too close. Out over here, you'll be clear. Of... Yeah. yeah, unfortunately, my, my storage units were way too close right there, and I, I couldn't do it. I couldn't I'd get the other one merged onto it, basically. Okay, um... Wait, maybe I could have a different way? Here we go. Okay, actually, I'm gonna try something. <laughs> you can put it out this way now. No, all that. I have an idea. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try something. Here we go. Let's see if we can do this. Hold on. I'm gonna try. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm just... Uh, doing things. Uh, no, let me. No. No. no I I lighted red. Those. Hold on. I have to have it to make sure it has to be like clicking onto it. I guess it's close. <laughs> okay, it's close. I just wanted to try. I've gotten away with pretty close before. I was just wanted to try. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're just gonna do it a little further out. Okay, so it's telling me I wanted to try to get the storage units lined up. Silly? Don't care. But, couldn't do it. So, well. Okay, there. So, screws, uh, plates, ruts. Okay, don't put them similar over here. Ah. No. Oh. No. In fact, how about this? I Idea? Up this way, because we can uh, we can have the belt have the belts coming out of out of these going that way. So, like okay. uh, off, off this, way. this way, off this way somewhere. I wouldn't use those super heavy station. Why? They could take up a lot of concrete. Actually, they're all the same. Oh, they are. Okay. Yep. They all they all take exactly the same amount. Doesn't matter. I I person I got using this from is from my brother. <laughs> he started using all three foundations because there are places where it'll cover up underneath and stuff, and he liked it. So I sort of got in the habit of using them. <laughs> Funny as this, but yeah, it trust me. Um, they all take the exact same amount of concrete and plates, so it doesn't matter. Does it does not save to change. Just do whatever is useful for that area, basically. Do whatever's convenient on sizing. Okay, logistics. Do we have Oh, we don't have belt stacks yet. Oh, okay, um, whatever. I, I don't know if you've noticed, but, um, not your brothers like to have a life side of one game. I play two games. Times. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Just one issue. Very dark under here. We might have mobs spawning. Don't really. Not really the same in this game. It's not really the same. One of our generators oh, I, I, went I, I, out of power. I, I, I'll deal with it. I'll deal with it. I was actually debating adding another bow bus burner anyway. Because uh, I was thinking we might be trying to run a little short after this, which is what I was thinking. And the truth is probably correct. So, hold on. I need some stuff. There we go. So you need assemblers to make rotors and reverse plates, and then one beyond that smart plating. Oh, Resource plates? You mean reinforced plates? Yes, that's what I meant. 
Okay. Okay, which one are Okay, so we have jump pads, sync program, have the logistics program, so we can get stackable conveyor poles. Sounds good. Just need to send in the resources. 300 rods, 100 plates, 200 concrete, 50 reinforced plates. Grab some stuff from here. Grab some out of the storage. All right. There's a lot of concrete made now. Did you intend to have plates and rods going into the same bridge container? No. Oh, did I get some of the machines mixed up? Let me come over there. No, I think it's just we have rods. too many. I think we have oh, too hold many. Hold on, hold on. This one's supposed to be plates. The rest we got mixed up. Oh, that's what I was going to. Yeah, that one's supposed to be plates. It's just recipe mixed up. That looks, everything else looks cracked though. Thanks for catching that though. I did not notice. <laughs> I usually go around and double check all the recipes and I think I've forgotten that section. All right. Okay. Got uh, all that, I've got some screws. Gonna dink some reinforced plates together in a crafting bench a little bit. Kind of funny that we're just sort of platforming off into the void here, basically. I mean, at the, the airspace. I mean, I mean, the, the my whole plan is eventually we can do like floors below. Oh, that'd be cool. You know, we're we're usually and then we can use the. We can do like plates. We, we can do like plates and rods on top, and then they conveyor down somewhere else. Yeah. yeah. Do more things on that. Platforms down, so that actually sounds cool. Yeah, that's part of the reason as to why I built the spinny ramp, is I just wanted to see what if I could do it and how it was done. Oh. Yeah. Uh, all this stuff feels like it's taking significantly longer to produce. Well, see, once you're once you get to the stage where you're just waiting for stuff to produce, that's when I just find something else to focus on while it's doing its thing. Yeah, I know. I'm already, already on to my next project <laughs> <laughs> because it became necessary. <laughs> there we go, launching. Yeah. Milestone oh, reached. Improved oh, versions of conveyor belts and conveyor loads. Oh, oh, oh. Now thank, thank you. Thank you for doing that one. I'm so happy. Thank you. I'm very, welcome. Very happy, now. Very happy now. <laughs> Conveyor poles. We can do the stacks. Yes, we can do stacks. So let me introduce you to my uh, favorite items as far as belts go. <laughs> oh, is that? Are the clouds moving yet? Huh. huh. The clouds moving in, it looks like. You look at it towards the edge of where they kind of like moved in. It looks like the, the sky kind of just like melts to let them through. I was watching the rocket take off. 
Where are you up, by the way? Over by the hub. I am too, but I just don't see you. Oh, there you are. Hi. Yeah, look, 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 look. <laughs> I, I have, and, and, they don't just take belts, look. Uh, inside of them, acts as a ladder. Oh, nice. Oh, uh, if you really, really need a ladder in the spot, I also use it like that sometimes, just if, out of, if I really, really need to get up fast. Okay. So oh, they well. also function as, as a, as a ladder, a standalone ladder. There, there are, are actual ladders in this game too, but I like these for like standalone areas. Okay, uh, production. Oh, plates. Reinforced plates. That's what I wanted. Okay, making more. I got a ton of copper ore in my. Why do I have so much copper? I'm gonna go dump that into the smelter. So we need the. We're gonna need the basics feeding into two different assemblers, making two different items, and then those two assemblers feeding directly into another assembler. Okay, uh, can we start up the. the I'm gonna restart this uh, line that we had over here for the. A cable. Uh huh. Because uh. Oh. Okay. We need this. One next. We're gonna need. We're gonna need power. Uh. We're gonna need the ability to spread power around next. So as far as, far as power goes, the next thing we're definitely gonna want to research is obstacle clearing. How in the world did you get this to work? Get what to work? This con this conveyor belt. Oh. Oh, oh. I know what you did. I know. What are you talking about? I want to know what you're. I'm so I'm curious. I want to know what you're talking about. I can't tell where you are. Over at the copper. The copper. Okay. Oh, oh, way over there. I did that early on. Um. Uh. I figured out what you did. I, I'm. I fixed it. Oh. What? What did I do? Uh. You. You stuck a. Uh. A, a thing that diverted the. Um. I think diverted the the wi the copper wire from the cable facility into just the storage thing. Oh, oh no, there was a belt connecting them. I just uh, removed the connecting belt. Yeah, you that, removed that... it and put like a, a splitter or a merger or something. No, there. no, no, listen, listen. There what? was I know this belt, the the splitter was always there. And what I did was I temp I told you earlier that I removed it temporarily yeah, to no. boost copper wire protection. Yeah, I know. So that was intentional. We, now we need the cable again because we're expanding. Yeah, we're now that stuff. we have the other machine uh, constructors making uh, copper wire too, we can just have that one line be dedicated. So what are we? So that's fine. We can just leave it that way. What do we need? For this so the thing? As, far, as far as far as the node research node when this thing comes back, oh, obstacle oh. clearing. You will be very happy if you did that one. Trust me. I'm looking at this, um, what I'm looking at it, it, trying to figure out is the, the objective. I don't even know what that thing is called. What do you mean? Oh, at the very top? The, where it says plate look, yeah, the face one? yeah, the funny plate looking that, that thing. That's the space elevator. No, but what do we need to make though? Well, that's what I was telling you about the assemblers. You need reinforced plates and rotors. So you need to okay. have the, the, the basic stuff fitting we need into four, two different assemblers. We're going to need four assemblers. Three, four. three assemblers. Technically. Oh, but only yes. three? Okay, so three, three assemblers. Okay. One to do rotors, one to do one, plates. One to do reinforced plates, yes. One to do reinforced plates, one to do rotors, and then those two will feed into a third one that will actually make the smart fitting. So three assemblers. Okay. You know something that we could do here? Uh-huh. We have these two other smelters that are just dedicated to iron plates and not... Could tie those into the, into the assembly. Or start working on figuring out... Sure, go ahead. I am at... So, if, just so you know, I am working on setting up the constructor setup for fuel making. Ah, okay. So, 
we clear, if we make, if we uh, do the milestone obstacle clearing, we'll be able to make the next level of biofuel, which will last longer. But, but it's best if you set it up as a constructor making setup. So oh, I will I'm going to set up uh, a, a, a couple of storage units to feed. To auto will. feed um, the constructors. Yeah, I'm going to pretend that it made sense. Basically, I'm going to set it up so all you have to do is dump leaves and wood into a couple different storage units and it will make the fuel by itself. So you're That's automating really you're you automating biofuel production. That's what I was trying to say, yes. Okay. I am working I'm actually working on the assembler. He's laying them out. Yeah, you go ahead. I figured you're going to do that. Um, you kept complaining about the fuel, so I figured it was time we got started working on the setup anyway. Yeah. So that's why I'm doing it. But I'm setting it up. I'm just putting all the machines down for the whole lineup, which means I'm also placing them for the second level biofuel, even though we don't have it yet. Because it'll be, just be convenient that way. Plus, it's the very next one. We can do it pretty quickly, as it doesn't need as much stuff as some things. Only needs 100 cable, 100 uh, grate, and 500 screws, and that's it. <laughs> yeah. As far as, far as things go, that's not much. Needs some more screws, though. Is that enough? Not quite. I might just make a few screws by hand. I don't need that much more. Okay. Gonna make the rest. Obstacle clearing will make fuel better, trust me. Well, it also gets us the chainsaw. Plates, rotors, mark plates. There we there go. We go. Oh, Milestone reach. Biofuel will ensure maximum efficiency of biomass burners. To aid in biofuel production, you are now capable of removing foliage that consists primarily of wood. Additionally, R and D inflated your pocket dimension. Oh, hey, bigger inventory. Hey. Okay. Yeah. Okay, All right. so now we can make better fuel and make a chance off. All right. Plates and screws. This one. Iron rods. It has the rods. One has plates. One has screws. They both need screws. Splitter. I always have a hard time producing enough screws. <laughs> no matter how early or far stage it is. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you just have to let it do its thing, even though it's slow. Because you end up needing so many after a while. Not to mention the uh, plate recipe is twelve screws per cycle per recipe. No, that that's the main bottleneck. It's like, oh, we make quite a few screws per cycle. And it's like, no, not really. Because not really near <laughs> each recipe takes like, you know, it's like, oh, sure, you make fifty of them at a time, and it's like, yeah, but each recipe requires seven hundred of them. Yeah, right. 50 at a time doesn't add up to very much. Okay, now I need to fix this screws. Well, it would appear the bottleneck on screw production is genuinely just bear belts. Yeah. Oh, hey, I didn't realize we have the, I didn't even realize we have the DNA capsule yet. 
Uh, and that's just useful for research, basically. Or not research, for the sink. What? What pods? The alien demon capsules. You can't actually oh. eat them. Oh, yeah. You can't eat them. <laughs> yeah. I, I've been, I've been used. I've... You've been doing what? I, I have researched. I, I've done some research with involving it. Involving using yeah. it. Capsules. I usually just don't make them into capsules unless I have a purpose, unless I really need to make some, get some, do the sink stuff. Um, because the protein is also what you make, the stuff that gets you health. Okay. Plates are now to... Similar. Oh. This conflict. No. Cool. It does. It's not aesthetically pleasing, but it works. Was I rushing a little bit too much doing the the, the fuel? I was just thinking, with their power keep being a problem, it'd be a good idea to get that going. I keep feeling like I'm rushing things a little. But, oh no. Okay. Um. Oh, wrong, wrong thing. Yay. Yes. Alright. Now have reinforced plates and rotors auto built. At least they will once I have power hooked up to the so I have to do that part. How is so how's everything going over there? Have enforced plates definitely being made. Rotors. Soon, once the rods reach the machine. And once the rods have made it to the machine, uh, the smart plating will start being built. Okay. Yeah, I'm working on the power and stuff now. Um, let's see, which one? Which one of you just went off? Oh! oh. Or maybe it's because... Oh, it's okay, I have more... I'll add, more I'll add more power. Oh, we've overloaded have... the grid. Yes, I already have three more made. I'm just not running. So don't worry. It's the next thing I focus on. Actually, if you come over here, I have something you can do. This would be kind of fun. Okay. I have something to give you. I'll go to the hub. Hi. Oh, you're right here. Okay, well, well done. Is this, and you'll also need. Where is it? My inventory. This. Solid because it rock. runs off that. Well, it runs off that. Hey. I'm <laughs> off to go <laughs> chop some trees down. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, oh yeah! <laughs> I'm fine over there. It, I just buzz saw them, and they oh, I took out three trees with one saw. was okay it apparently has some kind of like area of effect yes because i stood in the middle of three trees and all of them went down at once. nice i did not go backwards really i have so many leaves <laughs> <laughs>
Is the solid biofuel the better the better stuff? Yes, you actually use the basic biomass to make it. All right. Well, I've had my fun. I have a giant. I have an inventory so stuffed full of leaves. Uh, I could so hire I have... an entire British colony's bed mattress. Okay. So if you come over here, ah, I fell off a cliff. Ow. Okay, so not much fall damage. Let me know because I have two storage units, but, but it's specific as to which what you put where. So you have to let me tell me. All right, so which ones go to what? Okay, hold on, I just realized I did this wrong. Okay, so bottom one's leaves, top one's wood. Bottom one is... Ugh. Got that you don't have to do them separate. Okay. I'm just going to separate that for now. Okay. There. Six. Enter. I guess the reason why they need to be specific is because the recipe produces hey, it produces biomass, but only the specific recipe type. So like, yes, it only uh, takes uh, wood or leaves. Correct. But, but the uh, solid uh, biomass, it doesn't matter. Yeah. So that can take all of the inputs. Yeah, but yeah all of the, as far as making the actual biomass, it's the recipe separate for each type of item. So there's, so it's, that's why it's very specific. Then I'm going to set up output chests. Set up like right there. So it's all back there, so that when you're over here at the generators, you just all, all you have to do is access this one right here. Right. So they're all still running off basic for now. Um, but yeah. I switched one out solid. Cool. See how long it burns for. Well, it seems to burn for at least a little bit longer. Yeah. Burn time on the basic stuff was, I think, seven seconds or six seconds. This one's 50. Yeah. And if you want it making a little faster, we could technically split it and have each one make it, having a dedicated constructor rather than merging. We'll see how it goes. Okay. I'm gonna go check on the smart plate. See how that's coming. Boom. So, um. Did you know that there's a hole in the platforms over here? Well, yes, because this was a separate area originally. I only just placed them earlier. You, they can clip a little bit. Hey, can I have the chainsaw? And the chainsaw. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go extra kind of stock up a little more. Hey. It's on the ground. Thank you. 
check on these smart plates, see how many. Okay, sounds good. We have eight. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna take a bit. There's actually still a couple more research nodes if you want to go mess with that. Well, that's true. There are some that involve uh, inventory slot expansion. Yeah, there's, there's still some available over there. Why are the plates going so slow? Oh, because they only have one smeltery powering. Smelteries are all powering rod product, rod and screw. Well, if you need to, you can you can add to the add to it in some way. What are you doing? I don't know, you just work plates. Yeah. Right. This thing zooming is annoying. Cut up this. Finally. Cutting up this ore merger splitter system. Not enough now. Okay. So now one. Sounds good. One mine will power one set of things, the other one will be split among the other two. Okay. I'll make one, I'll make one mine. Purely dedicated here. Bolts. Screw. This mine will then split between two. Sounds good. Way it was going before, it worked, but it was for slight a slightly lower production load. Add. Reinforced plates are being bottlenecked waiting for screws, which isn't a terrible thing. Rotors aren't, but they that just... That happens, happens, like, all the time. Yeah, I know. Rotors seem to be the major holdup for... 
smart plating. Smart plating is so slow. <laughs> I am running away from you. Chainsaw something and make it mad. Nope, I'm just running away from it while I'm chainsawing the trees. <laughs> oh. I'm like running away and uh, breaking the trees and ignoring the hog that's chasing me. <laughs> ah, you're running from a hog. I'm trying, but it's not the easiest thing. Ah! ah! Kidding me. Okay, I got that tree I was trying to get. There's another limestone node over here. No, go away. Alright, I'm gonna go oh, for no, the no. resource sink. Oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 I don't wanna fall off the cliff. I don't wanna fall off the cliff. Okay. I wanna do it on a less. Hi! You just jumped off the cliff past me. I see. That was funny. Oh. You mean you won't there. <laughs> what exactly are blade run? Oh Exoskeleton for lower legs that assists movement. Allowing pioneers to sprint faster, jump higher, and dampens the impact of landings. I'm stuck. I don't know whether to go for the plus six inventory slots or the power legs. I mean, eventually we're going to do both. So. Oh, oh you're, you're over here. Uh, Ma'am? Yeah. yeah. Under which one? Quartz? Oh, quartz. Blade Runners. Oh, well, we can't. No. Oh. I almost can. Oh, do we have the recipe for the frames? Yes. Okay, well, then we have to get that first. You only need ten, thankfully. I'm working on it. Need reinforced plates for it. Screws could be a problem. How many do you need? Uh, I need three more reinforced plates. Hold on. Oh, I have I have some. You want them? Sure. There. Boom! Now I have the frames and the silica needed. To nice. Search. Well, good. All right. Researched. New equipment unlocked. <sighs> Crafted. Okay. Blade uh, equipment workshop. Three rotors, three frames, twenty silica. I'm gonna go need. I'm gonna need to go get some more quartz. Yeah. Hey, do you have a um, any uh, portable writers over there? No. I have two. I'll give you one or two to take with you. I don't have a portable. Oh, I actually that smart idea. I have some on me. I already made. This is why I was gonna give them to you before you go. I'm coming. Hi. Oh, there you are. Hey, here we go. Hold on. 
Thanks. There you go. You're welcome. You're already, already on, on me, so I was gonna give them to you <laughs> before you went. Okay. Alright, well I can say, I, I can happily report that the uh, iron plate production has been boosted significantly by reordering. I say it's been boosted significantly. Significantly, but it does seem to have gone up. Oh, that's good. For rearranging how the mines fed in. I'm afraid I realized afterwards that I don't think I was paying a whole lot of attention to that part of the production. Well, I was doing well, the other end of things. I wasn't really paying attention to that end. Well, I, I did the way that I did because I was planning to do something else entirely. I wasn't thinking that this was going to be the main assembly hub. Space elevator. Yeah. Oh, we could use some extra rooms here. I've been kind of learning. I'm oh, not right. surprised. Well, I'm not really surprised. I was kind of expecting that because it's still most of them were still running off the basic stuff. So I was expecting that. It's fine. I'm um, going over there. Oh yeah, like there's like one, two, three machine, three generators that are out. Yo. Now you don't have to take the ramp with the risk of uh, falling off of it and breaking your legs. Oh, I'm trying to split it. Stop trying to open and split it. How do I put down auto miners again? Uh, put them in your hand slot first. There we go. It's weird how once you haven't done this more than a couple of times, yet how. <laughs> and we are running again. Now I only about 50 in all of them, so um, <laughs> yeah, after a little bit, I'm gonna need to add to it again. Going back to base with a lot of quartz in tow now. Cool. You now make the 200 silica needed for those things. Nice. Folks, time to now tape down the uh, mouse button and uh, go something else. Check on my laundry. What are you working on? Well, I decided to go ahead and put a second constructor on the fuel setup. So, on the solid, solid making the solid part, the well, fuel part. Okay, so just we're cause we're slightly, Just because we're making it slightly uh, faster because um, we're going to run out of fuel here for long. Because I was mm -hmm. only able to put about 50 in all of them. Okay. So, it's not going to last a super long time. So, I am just making it run a little faster. There's enough stuff to go through 
I gave it a bunch, so it'll be fine. But <laughs> in the meantime, I needed to make it just slightly faster, so that's what I'm doing. I think I need to go ahead and add to the first one because there was one I only added like 30 something to. There's that one. There it is. Okay. There we go. Alright, we're okay for the moment. Uh, when it goes out again, uh, we should have more fuel to through. Yeah, I brought I back like six something stacks of logs of wood. Right. Dimension has been invited. Nice. Six okay, slots. Great. Blade Runner. Oh yeah, Visual Sync Program is next. Okay. Yeah, Visual Sync. That's just what I had on me, so. Okay. I have plates. Oh, nice. I'm gonna and check some concrete. concrete. I'm checking. I'm gonna check the. Co Wait, where's the concrete thing again? Oh, it's right here. Uh. Okay, we got the concrete. Launch. Resource You have been okay. given early access to the anti waste effort for stress testing of materials on exoplanets bonus program. Funneling That's... parts into the awesome resource safe, yeah. depending on their amount and complexity, will grant you coupons in the awesome store, which can be exchanged for bonus rewards. Examples of bonus content are parts, walls, factory attachments, and cosmetics. Fixit is working hard to develop additional options, which will be added to the awesome store in the future. Go that extra kilometer. Go awesome. <laughs> I did. Some part of me just feels like that was like <laughs> supposed to be a placeholder, and then just never got changed. <laughs> Basically, it, it unlocks more stuff. Basically. Yeah, but, 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 but it's mostly it's it's mostly aesthetic related, but there's some useful stuff involved, including like different kinds of belt attachment things that can go through walls and floors, that sort of thing. Lights, too, actually. So the sink itself, you just dump whatever ex extra items that you have into it, and it'll uh, you'll g and um, it will produce tickets. You spin the tickets in the resource shop, the awesome shop. Hey, honey. Hey, here. Want some legs? That's the shop. I'm gonna look. Yes, please. I would love some legs. I, I'm... What? Right there. Ooh! Thank you! I feel very leggy now. I think we'll just call you a leggy Anna. <laughs> leggy Anna, that's funny. The minute you said leggy, I was like, okay, I gotta figure out how I can pull this off. <laughs> Monster Hunter reference. There. Monster Hunter reference, might as well. I'm like, I'm gonna head down, down the shop right here. Just so you can see the shop. I saw it. Yeah, so um, if you look in there, you'll see little boards. 
Yeah, look sure. under management. There's conveyor wall stuff, wall power outlets, etc. Okay. Hmm. The, the other thing also consumes power too. It's a bit bigger. It's a kind of a big machine. <laughs> My lance, you can move so fast with this. I am. Oh, this feels great. <laughs> Get me now, hogs. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really nice. Once you get used to this, it's really hard to go back when you do early game again. It's, it becomes a little hard. Ooh, and the good news is, we're not the only ones that are uh, benefiting from the boost of speed. The smart plating is up to 38 now. Nice. The rotors are the slow paw. Of course, the big bottleneck being screwed. Woo! Over the lady! And over her again! Whee! Oh, hey, the pod's coming. Oh, I have to complete space elevator phase one, because all we have left are dump pads. I'm sure those might be fun once I get them, but I'm not interested because I have jump legs. How are we doing on power? Fine, I'm... The game is doing something weird, and I don't understand why it's, why it's doing this. Now, generally, to split a stack, it was right-click. Right, right now, now it's really telling me, opening codex. I can't figure out why it's doing that. I just... Mm. I don't know, because... I right click and it splits the stack. I know, but for some reason it's not doing that now, and I don't understand why. I'm confused. I've never, I haven't had this happen before. I don't know if I turned some setting on. I don't know where. Oh, are you are you trying to split the stack in the? Uh... My inventory. Inventory. Just a bit. Mm. Because if, if it tells me open in codex if I try and split a stack that's in a power generator. No, it's in, just in my inventory is doing this. Strange. Well, I can do it in the chest for some reason, so I guess I'll do it in the storage crate. It's annoying, though. I don't know why it's doing that to me. I was going through uh, to double check on the machines and top them off because as I said earlier I didn't do that much in them. What the heck are, fl are flower petals supposed to Uh color what is it called? Changing color texture of things. We don't have it unlocked yet. Okay. Something for later, let's just say. You seem to be making a decent amount of solid biofuel. Yep. 
I went and collected extra. I got brought back a bunch of wooden leaves earlier to help with that. Oh, color cartridge. There it is. This is the color cartridge. Used for applying patterns to structures with the customizer. Need seven smart plating. And fire off the space elevator. Oh, nice. So. Oh, I forgot what I was doing. I was doing a thing. I was over here. Oh, right. I don't even know. Oh, 15. Orders use rods and screws. I can craft a couple of extra. Almost done. The last of the smart assembly, the smart platings. Sounds good. Nice. All right. Four. Three more. Claims it does two per minute, but I'm I'm not believing it with how long this is taking. <laughs> <laughs> now, if this thing follows the typical route of these games where smart plating becomes a critical resource, I desperately hope that they're faster assemblers with this thing. I won't hook it up. I won't hook it up for now, but it's over here. Oh, what? The sink? Yep, I'm behind you. I put it in. I put it next to the space elevator because it's you sink resources into it anyway. So, so one thing I I've I've done before is just put like a side storage unit like this, so that way I'm not just permanently funneling everything into it. I just pick what I want and put it in manually, like this. Out of all of this ore that's been piling up. Do anything. There we, go. there we go. So you can look in it, and it'll say points until next coupon. Um, All right. No, note uh, that uh, DNA capsules are worth like a thousand. All right. Very, very, I have stopped the production. It's time. Okay. Fifty plates. Okay. Load. Steal. You have to stay in it for the, all three stages. Okay. I didn't see that it was, uh... You had to stay in it though for all three stages, or... Send! Uh, 
Yeah, there you go. Awesome. Now stand back and look. Goodbye. Now, now, I just want you to just look and cringe at what's next. For phase two. Oh, no. <laughs> Needless to say, we won't be needing to do that for a while. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> so much I said about just connecting the belts, this is why. This is I... why it has belt inputs. Oh, gosh. I mean, with smart plating, it can help if you just connect oh. the belt and just let it run permanently. Sure, but... We don't have to worry about it yet, honey. We don't, don't have to worry about it too much yet. Because if you notice, the second and third item are still related. We're, we're not up to that. I know, but... I, okay, back to my original statement. I sincerely hope they have some faster assemblers in this tier. Milestones. So, because otherwise we will die of old age before we get this done. <laughs> you, you remember that power slug thing you made earlier? The what? The power? Power slug you made with the power slug. Oh, that, yeah. That, yeah. That's for boosting production. Making it faster. Overclocking. Okay. That's what that's oh, for. Oh, hey. We can get coal power now. Yes. Oh, now we can get coal power. All right. And we don't need still for that, so we can do it so that we have the resources for it, basically. So it's reinforced iron plate, rotors, cable. All right, I'm killing the uh, I'm killing the smart plating uh, assembler. Okay. We need the resources for other things now. Yeah. So for now, I would just have them funneling into like storage unit uh, each, just to kind of let things generate for a while. Yeah. Oh, oh, this also means, uh, I'm gonna do this really quick first before we finish. Um, I'm gonna go to our coal, copper section, and get it making copper sheeting. Rods. Rods! Is there another copper node, actually? Oh, there is. I'm picking up rods in the least efficient way possible. Oh, oh dear. I'm going. Coming back. <laughs> I'll deal with copper in a minute. <laughs> uh, wait, 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 where am I? I'm getting lost. Again. Okay. I can't say I'm terribly surprised that that happened. Okay, which one? Ran out. That one. That one's fine. That one's a little bit technically fine. Add some more to it. That one. It's fine. Let's see if it'll start running now. Nope. Okay, which one is out? There's gotta be another one. Did, or did we just add more? Okay. Do I need to add another generator? I feel like I'm missing one of the generators. No? Okay, I guess I'm just gonna make another generator really quick. Power. Hopefully we're going to have to start redoing the whole wiring setup. <laughs> I Yes, I agree. Partially agree. Definitely need more poles, or maybe there's, like, mark grade 2 poles. We need to, at, the, at the very least, we need to just kind of erase the mo bunch of them and redo it so it's a little more lined up. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's all running again. Okay. I, I had to, I had to add, add some more gen a couple more generators, though. Jeez. Because they all had fuel. We just uh, ran out of power. We were overloading it, yeah. Okay. Okay. 
Uh, so, to help with this, actually. So we don't need this many making copper wire, so I'm gonna take one down. How much is in there now? Um, actually, to take on power, I'm actually going to reduce this down to one gen, just one again. The um, co what, copper, copper cable? Copper wire. wire. If only to, mostly to save on that. But also, I need to switch one to copper sheeting anyway. So I'm just going to... Okay, I should have left that. But I'm going to change one to be copper sheeting. Copper sheet. There we go. And now we need some power. Got the cable that we need. It's milestone. I really like the milestones. Like it, it, it does initially feel like it's going to get tedious trying to do all these things, but they give me something to focus on. Yeah. Not quite like. I don't want to say Factorio's science system is bad. But it definitely, it, it, this makes me feel, ever makes me, has, this game has not made me feel like I want to take a nap while I'm waiting for something. You see, that's what I like about it too, as far, I, I can play for a while and not get bored with this game. Yeah. Because even if, say, like, you know, like earlier we are doing the smart planning, but at the same time, we'll just let that generate, because I also really needed to go work on power, it's and if not that, then I can go click wood. If not that, I can go and get quartz running or something. There's always something. Yeah. There's, like, always. always something else that I can do, too. And th every time there's something that just needs to be left to generate, that is when I, uh... That's when I switch tasks, basically, to let it generate. Yep. So, yeah, if, if I'm getting tired of waiting for something, then I just do something else for a while. Okay. Copper sheeting generating. We need copper sheeting for the pipes, basically. And the water. Okay. So, we will need at least a decent amount of it. Um, so, it honestly generates pretty decently, uh, easily, um, like other, like other copper stuff. So, it's, it'd be, it's fine. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, I'm so dead. Strong. How, How did I survive that? that? I feel so I, I can't believe I survived. You, you I, fell off the platform over by the I, copper? I have a sliver of health. I survived with a sliver of health. Oh my gosh, where are you? Um, I think I'm somewhere below the power area. I think I'm way down here. Trying to see if I can find you. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you're, you're, below, you're below the copper. Based okay, off of where you are on the compass. I don't remember how... Oh. It was a way of pinging, but I don't remember how to do that. You. Love that. Um. Okay, let's stop doing that. Um. Let's see. I'm trying to remember. There was some way I found. I just don't remember. Okay. Options! Let's <laughs> gonna find out. Oh no! I almost uh, repeated your mistake. Oh, it's alt. Oh, it's alt. Left mouse button. Okay. That's where I am. Oh my gosh, you are so far down. <laughs> you are. You are outside the render distance, I think. Can you see me? I'm straight below. Like I'm at. The, I'm up against the cliff, like straight near the bottom. Yeah, I I can't see you because of the platforms being in the way. Trying to keep doing that. Yeah, I mean, there's like a crack there in between that I'm below. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not like under the main. How do I put this? 
I saw where you were pinging. I can't. Okay. You are below the. You are below the platform. Yeah, I am. Okay, I'm going over to your stairs. I'm going over or your ramp. Whatever. I'm not that far from it. Oh, but I'm gonna go to the straight ramp instead. Uh, I'm gonna go over there. So, I'm thinking, um, pretty soon, maybe next time, uh, we should try going exploring in a direction again. Um, we have the Blade Runners now, and do we have the better weapon yet? The better zapper? I don't know. I don't think so. I'm gonna go a little check. Sonny. Oh, hey, you're okay, already back. Those things... Do produce or do give good <laughs> results as far as spring speeds okay, go. Okay. Okay, we don't. We just sell the basic one, but it should be available pretty soon. Let me let me look. Okay, so milestone. Just gonna look. Assessing of proof power. So <laughs> oh, so one of the things we can do next on tier three is improved melee combat. Zeno That's Basher. This, it's this one. Xeno Basher is the next uh, weapon. Uh, okay, thanks. Uh, good to know, Bacon Man. Sure. There. Can you see that milestone I just selected? Uh, yeah. Improve melee. That's the one. I want to do. I want to do uh, coal power. Are you sure. Okay. Tired of hearing the machines all shutting down. Uh, <laughs> These things already take ten billion years to make in okay so the milestone for that one needs 95 cable 50 rotors and 87 reinforced plates yes uh melee combat is 100 reinforced plates Yowgy. yeah uh okay that's full power i can't take i can't take stuff out of the milestones Ooh. I think we could switch things over if. I was pretty sure you could. No. No, it doesn't let you take it out. Take stuff out? You can't take stuff out once you've committed it to the stone. Oh. I mean, I've, I've set it back to power is current milestone so yeah i know and it kept it kept the previous resources but i can't take the resources we put towards coal power and move them over to the melee combat but i thought you said you want coal power first i do so why do you want to move it i was just testing to see if i could i can't oh. so well it's fine <laughs> i know it's fine I might need to let this run overnight or something during the week. <laughs> <laughs> well, won't be able to do that until we have actual power, but uh, permanent power, because right now your power, the power would just run out. When we have power, we can kind of let it AFK a bit, but not right now. Oh, we are getting a lot of solid biofuel. Definitely making more than we're burning. It's good. Yeah, that was kind of why I wanted to give it one extra machine just to make sure. By the way, I'm gonna try to cover up this hole that I fell in. Okay. We may have to move the hub eventually. Oh, found sulfur. Or sulfur. Nice. What? Uh, or no? No. Or just a... Okay. But just a... Uh, what's that? Ooh, this is a cool looking... Uh, never mind, it's full of bugs. I, I, by the way, I don't know if you, you're aware of this, but uh, caves tend to be the house for spiders, like, everywhere. Good to know. You see a cave? Expect spider every single time. Not, not super <laughs> ideal to enter one until you have at least a little bit better stuff. There's a little spider. Ah, died in two hits. Stinger. 
gonna run around and tear up all the plants and collect. Back to them searching sulfur. Never mind. Black powder. Experimental power generation. Ooh, that takes a hundred rotors. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> There's one thing that we might want to do, we'll probably want. Go look under alien organisms, and go look next to the protein inhaler, the one to the right of it. Oh, there's the re- is that the rebar gun? Yes. Yeah, I saw that. Do you know what it's for? Done. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's only gonna be good for one thing. Killing things. Shooting. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Well, out of the 50, 50 rotors we need, we currently have 33. How much sulfur do you have? I have uh, 28. Okay. Oh, we need 50 for that one, don't we? Yeah. Okay. Black powder. Maybe not for that. Wait yet. Oh, we don't. Uh, the little bio burners off the back of the hub don't have any people left. Uh, yeah, they're not even connected. Or they are connected. Uh, yeah, I, I kind of quit using them. Okay. Anyway, we're at a good stopping point if we want to stop. Yeah, we should. We should probably stop. It's getting close to after six. We should stop. It's after. All right. Well, this is as good a place as any stop. So, thank you all for watching. Made some good progress. Built the space elevator. We've almost completed coal power. Got legs. Almost, almost, oh, you mean the oh, no, the research? Almost completed the uh, almost completed the milestone. You yeah, mean. the milestone for sure. <laughs> I don't know what goes into it beyond that, but. You want to wait a couple minutes until we finish that one, or just assume we pretend like we did it? <laughs> um, oh, the rotors take so long. <laughs> Hold on, let me see what extra stuff we have available. Give me a minute, I'll do it. Oh, you collected the screws before? No, I didn't collect any screws, I oh, opened no, it up and here, looked. Here. Ah, that's here. okay, I'll make my own screws. <laughs> Making extra of the rods. Just a little minute. Okay. It's less than 50. Well, I can do it. <laughs> I've done. Whoops. Anyway. Oh, is this available yet? Oh, oh, I have something for to, if you want to do to check out. It's a little, a very simple thing. Okay. Come over to the hub. Here. Okay. Come over this way. You, you can go, go inside there. Go over to the computers. Do that. It's just for fun. Productive Packer Deluxe. You can take that out for a minute while I'm doing this. Check <laughs> Steven. So, you basically, it's kind of like, um, 
kind of like Tetris sort of. I where can you, tell. Your goal is to complete as many crates as you can in a short amount of time. You're timed. Okay. So you just it's drag them over to fill the space, it get is, it as- it doesn't have to be perfect. perfect, just get as many as you can, and then submit, and then just keep doing that until the timer runs out. Your time- your- your- part of your score is based on how many crates you complete. And submit. So. In other words, it's best not to try to be perfect and just throw down as many as you can in there as fast as you can. It's the better plan. Okay. So technically we only need, let's see, two, ten, 17 rotors. Yeah. I have eight already, by the way. I've got one star. <laughs> it's hard to get beyond one star, trust me. I have played that. Uh, it's definitely doable. I just didn't quite understand how all the Tetris, how, how like everything worked in it. Spent a little yeah, too yeah. long overthinking. Yeah, it took me a few tries. At some point, I managed to get one star in all the levels. <laughs> I think I got like higher than that in some of the early levels, but it took it took some doing doing a few times. <laughs> that's for sure. It's coming. Don't worry. I'm working on plates now. Some reinforced. I'm almost done. I just have to make a couple more. I just have to stop and make screws periodically. Because I'm also making the screws for it. Are you working on the plates the or the rotors? You're doing the, the rotors? rotors? Alright, I'll work on the plates. Okay. Building screws, making screws, crafting screws by hand. It is the most tedious thing to do in the land. There you go. Finish that one. Hey, I, I managed to rhyme, too. <laughs> yeah, if I had any extra reinforced plates, I'd give them to you, but I don't. Did you check the storage unit? See how much we had over there? Uh, last I saw, there was like... been a minute, so you might... I'm gonna go check. Okay. 48. Oh, we have 48. Okay. I'm bringing them back. That'll be an, that might actually be enough. Yeah, I'm thinking. Yep. Eight. Milestone. Okay. okay. Cool. There we go. Alternative power now we have coal power. And can be fully we can actually scan for the coal. Water with the no, no, we don't really need to. We found some I know, I know, not, we not very far away. Or four nodes. No. With that, that, we could use it for both steel production and coal power. Note, with that many. Pumps will yeah. Aid vertical transport of fluids through pipes. Note, throughput and volume indicators are added to Such each pipe section automatically. By the way, just for kicks, you should check out how big the coal generator is. But go out to an open area first. Trust me, don't do it in this compact area. Go over like by the elevator. Heavens! <laughs> it's glorious. <laughs> you know what? What's always cool about those though? It's lining them up. I don't know what it is, but you do a lineup of those with the tall pole and the chimney thing right there. It looks kind of cool. Cause see, look. So cool. See, put that one next to it. I'm trying to line it up so it can to show. Okay, pick a spot. Stop, don't be in the same spot as me. But look, you line these up like this and imagine a row of those. Yeah, that is cool. Yeah. All right, well, there, there was a coal node this direction that was actually closer. Oh, and the other thing we'll need is on the water, we'll need these, look at these. Okay. This is a water pump. Yeah. 
water extractors it's called it's under production by the way but we'll need those on the, on the lake on the water to bring get water to it and my, my goodness i think we might have enough water what do you think not to mention it's being fed from like uh, uh, the ocean area over there yeah i think we'll be okay on water yeah so yeah that all right we got We've got things to do. Oh, 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 oh no, I did myself again. No, it did not just mm. <laughs> you fell off. I survived my slower health again. And let me tell you the only reason I survived is because of Blade Runners. Blade Runners is the only reason I keep surviving that fall. I do not know. <laughs> oh, I can't join this to myself. <laughs> You know what? One of the first things, one of the early things I want from the resource sink, you do a laugh at me. I want railings. <laughs> yeah, I know you laugh. <laughs> oh man! You can get railings from there, and I—I I think I want railings to put up just because, or or even these walls on. We have walls. You know, here's your basic wall. We can also do, uh, this. We also have these partial things. I think that's right. The coal nodes are a are well, they're not that far away, but they're a long way out. There we go. Stream power yeah, plus yeah, forever. Yeah, instead. Use these instead. We have this now. Check it out. Special walls. And now I can't laugh at you when you fall off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, because I totally want to keep uh, almost dying or dying. Yeah, no, no, th no, thanks. Honestly. You know what? If you want that kind of fun, you could walk off the edge. Mm. Okay. Well. Yeah, now we're done. And next week it's coal power. Coal power! Yes. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you all next week. Coal power. Good rest of your weekend, everybody. Goodbye. Bye. I was going to jump off down the, the ramp for exit, but I can't see it now. So I'm just going to say goodbye. You could, you could technically jump onto the railing and then jump off.